Hi everyone, welcome back to ASFC Physics. What we're going to be talking about today are various graphs in simple harmonic motion. Sometimes in an exam question you may be asked to essentially convert a displacement against time graph to a velocity time graph or even an acceleration against time graph. So let's go through how to do this. The first thing that we need to consider is the relationship between the two quantities. For example, if I'm going from a displacement to a velocity time graph, what I need to remember that velocity is the gradient of the tangent in an x against t graph. So what I really need to do is to consider the gradient. In that first region over here, you're going to notice two things. Number one, whenever there's a peak, the gradient is zero. So that means that at this point here, the velocity is zero. So here the velocity is zero. Here the gradient is flat as well, so the velocity is going to be zero. Here the velocity will be zero, and we'll also be starting off from a zero velocity. The second thing that we need to consider is that in that initial little bit over here, we can see that the gradient is negative. So that means that our velocity will be negative as well because velocity is defined as the gradient of the tangent line in this x against t graph. Okay, well, let's get started. So the first thing that uh, for that first bit we can, bit, we can see that uh, the tangent in the x against t graph, that's going down. So uh, I'm going to start off in that negative portion and uh, so it's going to retain exactly the same shape however it's going to be negative. Oop, let's try it again. So it will look like this. Like so. Notice a couple of things. For instance, whenever the um, the x against t graph has a maximum, a peak, or, or a minimum, a trough, then the v against t graph is actually equal to zero. For example, right at this spot over here we have a peak and the velocity is equal to zero. That corresponds to an object performing simple harmonic motion being furthest away from the equilibrium position. Now what we're going to have a look next is converting that v against t graph to acceleration. We need to repeat the process once again. So acceleration is the gradient in a v against t graph in a velocity time graph. Initially our gradient in that first region is negative and it's also a maximum. So just when it starts, this graph is at its steepest. So we're going to start off with a negative acceleration somewhere around here and right when we're at a peak over here, the acceleration is going to be zero. So in other words, the graph will look something like this. Once again, this is just a sketch over here. So just a rough sketch. In the exam, we need to be really really careful. Notice though that whenever the, there is a peak in, uh, in this graph over here, the velocity time graph, that corresponds to the acceleration being zero. For instance, there's another peak over here which corresponds to this being zero. Okay folks, so hopefully graphing the simple harmonic motion quantities now make sense. Uh, if there are any questions, please feel free to leave a comment and please consider subscribing.